In this video, I am going to talk about what is time series analysis and how is it different from the uh, structural uh, analysis. So, I'll be talking about how time series models are different from the structural model and what are the differences between these two types of uh, you know, fundamental uh, data analysis techniques. Okay, so as most of you would know, uh, uh, time series is all about uh, you know extending uh, or modeling uh, the variable uh, based on its past values, right? And one of the most famous uh, you know analysis that is done on a daily basis by different com companies, mostly financial service companies, is forecasting the stock price and stock indexes, right? So let's say you have um, uh, S and P's 500, so which is an index. It has got uh, you know uh, stock price index values for different periods, like period one, period two, period three, and so on. And then these are historical prices. And if somebody wants to forecast it for future, he uses the series for the historical data to forecast uh, for the future. Okay. So to define time series, it's it's uh, the kind of uh, technique in which a model variable is forecast uh, on the basis on. Uh, is forecasted on the basis of uh, its past values, right? So, for example, the stock price of day three uh, can be modeled as um, uh, you know sum of stock price of day one and then uh, day two uh, divided by let's say two. So, it's the average of stock price of day uh, day one and day two, which is uh, the forecast uh, value for day three. Right. So this could be a very simple time series model, right? Uh, where the stock price for day three is forecast as the average of stock price of its historical values or past values for day one and day two, right? So uh, there is only one variable involved, which is stock price, right? There is only one variable involved or one uh, factor that is taken into consideration. So the same variable is used for its own forecasting. So, but and uh, you know uh, when you go to uh, S&P website and you can uh, you can you can see this over here. So I have taken uh, S&P 500 uh, prices for let's say three months. You can have it for you know one month, five months, five years, and so on. You see that the index value is you know uh, is following some sort of a pattern. It is going down. And then in your remaining uh, constant for a while, and then it is going up. Now that's a pattern, uh, and the purpose of time series analysis is to capture that mathematical pattern. That why uh, or what is the pattern that follows for a long time, and to uh, you know uh, model that pattern or to capture that in some mathematical formula uh, is something that is done in time series analysis, and that is used for you know uh, predicting the future of the. Uh, stock price or uh, index price. All right. So, what are structural models? Well, structural models are nothing but the regression models that you might have heard. Uh, let's say stock price can also be modeled as a function of inflation and unemployment, right? Which are the macroeconomic variables, right? So that way also we can uh, do the modeling for stock price or the forecasting for stock price. Um, so. Uh, these factors are responsible for uh, for you know uh, different fluctuations uh, happening in the stock price or the index uh, stock index price, right? And uh, example could be a linear regression, right? So the function, this function could be a linear regression function, a logistic regression function, um, or or uh, you know uh, a multinomial logistic regression function, and so on. So uh, well, in this case, it will be uh, linear regression because uh, this is a continuous stock price is a continuous. But yeah, uh, like if it is a categorical value, then it could be uh, more classic, uh, you know, some other regression function. Uh, so in structural model, we have this concept of uh, you know uh, dependent variable or responsive variable and independent variable or exogenous variable. Whereas in the in the case of time series model, there are uh, there is no such uh, thing. There is no such concept of you know factors or exogenous variable as such. There is only one variable which is involved. So we just fall model for the trend, nothing more than that. Whereas in structural model, there is a proper structure, or where is uh, there is a you know dependent variable which is a function of which is a function of set of uh, you know 
uh, independent variable and so on okay um, so now question is when structural model is already there which is a very simple uh, which is a very simple analysis why need one need to do the time series model can't we do the stock forecasting by taking inflation on employment rate and fitting a regression uh, a linear regression based on these uh, factors right as you do for most other uh, analysis so why is time series analysis so that's a question for why time series analysis when regression is available the few reasons why time series analysis is so important um, stock price data uh, for example is available on a daily basis whereas inflation and unemployment data uh, which are not available on daily basis right you get inflation data or unemployment data on a quarterly basis or a monthly basis right uh, but uh, stock price is you know varying every moment or every day right so you cannot do modeling for uh, di uh, different uh, time variations like you cannot do modeling uh, for a response variable which is changing every day and the exogenous or independent variables which are changing every quarter uh, quarter on quarter so that is not possible right so that's one problem some of the factors in the response variable are sometimes not observable like unemployment rate data is not available clear uh, clearly or there is no accurate data available for uh, developing countries a number of developing countries like in india we do not have good data on unemployment it's not uh, that good data so cannot be uh, these data uh, you know finding many data points uh, or many uh, um, uh, variables like this is very difficult so, so uh, sometimes uh, the trained analysis or time series analysis um, is more suitable for such uh, such things and it's also an alternative forecasting techniques i mean there are instances when both structural models and time series model uh, will work fine they will do a good job but which one of them is actually providing better accuracy right so you can do a computing modeling framework wherein you can have the regression model as well as the time series model and then compare the um, error rate between these two types of model and select the one which is having lesser or uh, lower error uh, percentage right so that's uh, one of the reason on um, the main reason why time series analysis is used right the first point and the last one like for the example in many cases the data availability is an issue and second uh, one is called uh, is used as an alternative technique to the structural models right so that's the way they are related and that's the way they are different from each other so for more videos you can uh, subscribe to our channel and you can you know, go to our website for a lot of uh, the contents and study